your rotary and cylinder correction and you'll have the repeat marking which motor you're going to use you have set your steps per rotation minimum speed max speed the acceleration and then it also has return speed and if you want to return to start or home on start and so there's some other settings there and once you have that set up now he's created some really cool jigs yeah and lightburn makes this easy all you have to do is put in the your count number so six and then hit calculate and it'll set your degrees appropriately so let's say i had 20 slots that i was going to use on this rotating jig and hit calculate and it'll do the math for you then you can actually change the your jog degree so if you need to fine tune it you uh lowered that to one just to uh line up my jig and it works quite well and then your typical start and frame buttons there so i made this jig and it just mounts to your regular chuck rotary so the jaw is tightened and it clamps it in place and this holds business card typical business card and it also holds it also holds the rfid wallet if you're wanting to uh grade the wallet and it'll and they'll drop down in there flat and then you can engrave six wallets at a time and then cut it to pull those out so I'll just run a demo job, and this is going to go through six times, but not mark anything, just to show you. Oh, it would. Have, That's cool. It would help if I uh, put it back to the proper uh, spacing. There we go. There, now it's set up for six. That is awesome. So to actually see it in practice, um, let me change this real quick. And then I'll hit go. It helps the time laser. Did you focus your laser? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. <laughs> I just didn't have the source turned on. All right, now here we go. This is fun. And this is great if you're doing production work. Somebody orders a hundred business cards or something like that. It's all automatic. Look at that. That's awesome. And then you can also set the pause after each move. This Chuck rotary tends to vibrate a little bit after it spins, so I set it for one second to give it time to settle in and stop moving, and then the laser. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. That's really nice. You think you could get a faster laser? <laughs> yeah, I can run the. I can run those faster. Oh, I was being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have. Uh, I can switch to a different setting and then it'll run it at a crazy speed. Now, Patrick made these custom jigs. Uh, he's got two of them that uh, he's going to be selling as well in case anybody's interested. Uh, if you have a rotary, they fit right onto the jaws. There's the other one. This one is for pens and pencils. And uh -huh. 20 of them. So he's got the business card one and the pens and pencils. And I think he's going to be selling those as a package. 
I am. I'm going to sell the files and also if you can't cut your own acrylic and you want me to cut them for you, I will be selling them uh, pre cut and assembled. So Ed is saying uh, to make the lasers wireless, the diode lasers, he uses a small new computer and a USB hub, and that way he can send it into the nuke and open the project there. You can also use a program called Virtual Here. Um, and I have a video on that. So if you go to my channel and search uh, remotely control your diode laser, um, you can use Virtual Here and set up uh, one com computer as a server and the other computer as uh, a guest. And you can work remotely on the other computer. I just saw Jerry commented, my O2 3D printing, I have a, this bike is unprintable, and I printed out four of them. They're awesome with those B-blocks to uh, level tumblers. Yeah. You can then laser them. And these things, this is a really cool design on printable. But now you can see all the business cards are done, and we can switch to the next job. <coughs> So Kate's saying, Rich and Steve, why don't you like X Tool? Well, we're we're in with the thousands of people that don't like X Tool <laughs> because of all the little bugs that they have, the the flawed design, um, the proprietary software. There's just so many so many reasons why we don't like them. Their their support. Some people love their support. Other people never heard from them again. So uh, yeah. it's it's just too much to get into, and I really don't want to talk bad about uh, a company. Um, we just don't support them. So, and we've only got 11 minutes left. We don't have time. <laughs> yeah. 